Insides, hanging out today with Jonah Kagan. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this. Oh, thank you so much for doing it, of course. Yeah, no problem. Well, you know, this isn't your first rodeo with us, and we'll be talking about that um, today. But, you know, 2022 has been so good to you so far. You know, the release of your new music, you came out with a new song, uh, a few new songs. Um, your first tour, and you moved to California. <laughs> Good, yes, all of those things are true. <laughs> How do you like it out here? I'm also in California. I'm in San Francisco, but I'm assuming you're not in the Bay Area. <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm I'm right smack in LA at the moment. But it is. It's really cool. It's it. It feels good to finally like feel like I'm actually doing this with my life, rather than you know being in college and kind of trying to navigate half having this life and half being a student and half this 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 no it just like feels like I'm I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing so I I love it out here so far still figuring it out obviously but um it's cool you just finished your first month-long tour with Macy Peters what did you learn what was your favorite part oh my god I I learned so much on that tour I think the biggest thing for me was that I my entire kind of musical career, at least in any sort of public image, um, was digital. So it was always just numbers on the screen and I was just watching things and it's easy to become desensitized to that sort of stuff. I'm actively kind of trying to, you know, make sure I'm appreciate, appreciating what that actually means and how many people that is and how you're affecting people. But the tour was the kind of first instance that I was able to see it actually happen and I, I just expected nobody to know me or know my songs or or react to me or and I just was like yeah I'm just the support and I'm just gonna go out and do my thing and whatever um but it was just such a kind of powerful realization that it was so much more than that and that this thing that I was doing is actually having a real impact on people and I I saw it with my eyes which is just so uh different and I think for me it was like the last thing I needed to to understand that this is like what I'm doing is I'm I'm supposed to be doing this and that I know what I'm doing and kind of this is this is my my life and this is my job and it's just so made it that more impactful for me every time I'm writing a song because now I think about not so much it's easy as a musician I feel like to think Oh, what's this going to, is this going to do the best? Is this song going to, you know, get the, uh, go viral or whatever and do your thing. And it's so easy to, to bog you down when you see somebody um, and then you see somebody in, in the audience, you know, crying over a song that they've never heard before. And you're like, Whoa, this is really, this is really impacting people. It changed the way that I approached songs and just being an artist in general, for sure. It was really, really special was it were you like nervous performing in front of like a live audience as opposed to your computer screen or your phone or something I was I was super nervous my first show um I like because my first show of the tour was my first show ever it was the first time I'd done anything live I I'd done live stuff like as a guitarist before but never like when the eyes are on me especially never when I'm singing or just like having to, to talk and like do things like that and um and just like engage with an audience so it was it was kind of like going from nothing to being thrown into something that was like super real and I was just like oh wow and uh so I was very very I didn't know what to expect I think and I was pretty nervous on the first day and then it was like after the first word I was like oh my god this is the best thing ever and then just kind of by show two I was so much more comfortable but then by the end it was like you just go out and you do it it's just I couldn't wait to get out there in front of all those people it's so much fun so it was yeah uh, yeah, it it got much better pivoting a little bit we're gonna go to the latest thing which is the release of your new song Barcelona congratulations (laughs) you're welcome you're welcome so First and foremost, the thing that sticks out the most to me is the bossa nova in the song. What sort of inspired that? Um, I mean, I so I I grew up playing jazz. I, I was a, I originally a, a, a jazz guitarist, um, but I I kind of 
hung it up, I guess, when I was like, I, I did it when I was little and then up until high school. And then I stopped and picked up the acoustic and just started playing more uh, finger style stuff that was not jazz. And um, I don't know. I just had the, the song started with this riff that I had, which is the guitar riff, the little like thing that's in the background, like yeah. that thing. I, I came into the session with that. Um, and I guess, I don't know. I, I, I just, it quickly turned into, we all kind of heard it as that, as being like, what if we put this like, you know, sort of bossa nova kind of groove into it. Um, it just seemed to fit that lick so perfectly. And then we just rolled with it. And it was kind of like a, um, a way I think to bring back that um, jazzy bossa nova feel, but also make it, but, but make it pop and make it something that's like digestible by uh, everybody. I love it. Like I was listening to it and I was like, if I don't listen to the lyrics, I want to dance to this song so yeah. much. But then listening to the music <laughs> too, it's just like, oh my God, it, it, it like ties into, you know, the sound that you already have, which some people would call like a sad boy kind of guitar sound. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, like who hurt you? And I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> but really like I was listening to the lyrics and it like my interpretation of it was that, you know, it's, you with someone who's obviously long distance who moves to Barcelona and you're just like thinking about all the things that they're doing without you or that they're doing not that you're not together and you know long distance relationships are not easy um <laughs> but tell me the story about the song like did I hit it on the head like is it oh, yeah, different? Close. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty close yeah it was um somebody that I met um like right at the end of my college time it was like right I was about to move to California and um I met this person just on the very last day of school basically um and then we just like got along really really well we really liked each other and and I had a good time for like two days just hanging out right before I left and then um I went to California and she went to study abroad in Spain in Barcelona so the whole idea was just kind of like that's a that is a that is good and it, it was a really honestly it was a really tough thing because it was like you feel like you finally met somebody that's that's cool at this place and all this stuff and then all of a sudden it's just like nope no nope, you can't have that and um so it was this like irony and it as as much as it sucked I felt like it would be best represented by some sort of kind of self-deprecating story a little bit uh and it seemed to fit that little guitar lick and we just we just had that idea um and it came together yeah <laughs> so it's, it's, it is slight i think it's slightly a departure in the sense that like it's something that is very real and that did very much suck but um just kind of channeling it in a slightly different way than making it like ah uh, sad make it like you know at least some <laughs> people could dance to it self-deprecate a little bit and let people kind of vibe to it <laughs> yeah 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 again it's just it has that that flair of the bossa nova just makes it makes it poppy enough and like makes you feel like positive enough that you don't really pay attention to the lyrics but then when you listen to the lyrics you're like Okay. <laughs> Good. Then it's then it's doing its job. I'm glad you did that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but thank you so much for hanging out, Jonah. Congrats again on the release of Barcelona. Can't wait to see what else is in 2022. And I hope you have a great day. <laughs> thank you so much. You too.